Okay, now I'm going to do something with this DFA that we made that you're going to love. Oh, I want to be able to see that A. I'm going to click on that and pull down just a little bit. There we go. Um, which is I am going to show you how you can use um, uh, JFLAP to figure out um, what additional transitions you need to point to a trash state or a trap state and just do them automatically. You don't have to do it all manually anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend, let me get rid of this for a minute, and pretend that we have made a, um, we've made a start to a DFA. So in this case, let's just hide those labels for a minute. I'm going to right click and then undisplay state labels. Um, we have a DFA here that accepts all strings that start with zero or more A's and then have an odd number of B's, right? Um, and, oh, sorry, but it's not a DFA, right? It's not a DFA because I haven't put in my, um, my transitions, say, from Q1, I need an out transition that um, on A, and for Q2, I need an out transition on A, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this auto-magically. Um, we're going to go to the Convert menu. Forget, forget the Convert to DFA. That's not what you use. We're going to use Add Trap State to DFA. Okay. So we're going to say Add Trap State to DFA. And we pop up a new tab. And I can make everything bigger again by just sliding this guy here. Um, and when you do a new tab, these labels show up again. And um, the instructions up here, you can see, say, make a single trap state, right? Create a new state to make a single trap state. Um, and if you get, I like this. This is a cute um, thing in, in JFLAP. I don't know why you have to manually draw the, the trap state or the trash state, but you do. If you just click on do all without doing it, it pops up a little window that says, just create a state. It's not too difficult. So I'll say OK. I'm going to click on the state creator tool and I will make a new state down here and it automatically labels it trap state. Um, maybe you call it a dead state, maybe you call it a, um, a trash state. We can always um, right click, oops we can't do it yet, sorry, we can't change the label yet. Um, so what we're going to do is now we're going to click do all and check it out and did you see it said um, the DFA is now complete, and we're going to open it in another window, and you couldn't see it because it opened it up in another place on my screen, but ignore that little text pad here. But here's what opened up. It has a new untitled um, uh, JFLAP automaton that has everything in here. Now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to right-click. Oops. Um, I'm going to click on the uh, attribute editor again. I'm going to change this because I call... Um, this a trash state, not a trap state. Oh, you know what? I re I right I right clicked on the white space. I didn't right click up here. So I'm going to start by um, right clicking on Q3, and I want to change Q3's label, right? So instead of calling it a trap state, I'm going to call it a trash state, right? And there's nothing special about trash state, right? I could also call it. Um, Let's change the label again. Let's call it a, I don't know, um, a hippopotamus state, right? Um, does the same thing, right? I can hide the state labels, right? I just right clicked. All of these have been right clicks, right? Um, I right click and say get rid of display, display state labels and I don't see it anymore. Um, the reason I'm hiding them is because this is bugging me with these arrows here. So I'm just going to grab Q3 and drag it over a little bit so that it's a little bit prettier. But check it out. Um, JFLAP turned this into a DFA for us.